Yo, what is good, man? It's your guy, Tico, guys, and we are back with NBA 2K22 updates today for the old last-gen, current-gen, and we're going to cover patch 1.12, and we're going to talk about the WNBA integration and how many WNBA superstars uh, that were added via patch 1.12, so about 36, 37 players for the NBA and about 36, 37 players for the WNBA, on top of coaches and then gameplay stuff, too, as well. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and jump into some WNBA. NBA action. All right, guys, so basically what we're going to do is jump into the actual patch notes, but I did find some WNBA players that were updated that were not in the patch notes, and I want to go ahead and go over the actual updated players so you can see them. Now, the first player that we found was Ariel Atkins. She was updated with a brand new face scan. Looks a lot just like herself. It comes from the next-gen version, guys. If you want to know where these scans are coming from, they're coming from the next-gen version of 2K. Uh, 2K actually went, scanned these people, and dropped them in. Now, there are a few faces that are not really on, but I feel like those faces are placeholders because they put names on the patch notes that's for nba players and wnba players and they literally don't drop the face in until a server update hits look at ariel atkins not looking bad looking just like herself the quality of these wnba scans are much better due to the situation where they scan these faces a lot later through the season about time they get these scans is the guys are already in the season as far as like the nba players they're already playing the game of basketball versus the women the women are in offseason and so 2K could get better scans of women. And you can look at this and tell that the quality is much better. Let's go ahead and go to body and look at the body real quick. And it does not look bad at all. Looks pretty dope. Looks just like herself. You wanna have the latest, most realistic looking scans in the game when you update to WNBA as well with the NBA players. To keep it authentic, 2K has the license for NBA games, right? Anyway, let's go to the next player. The next player we're gonna go ahead and put the spotlight on from this patch is Sue Bird. As you can see, this face looks so realistic. I don't know why the women's faces are looking a lot more uh, defined than the men's scans. Like the last scans that I went over in the last video, it didn't look as clean and as realistic and detailed as the WNBA scans for some reason. If you look at Sue Bird's face, it looks just like her. It has all of the detail that Sue Bird has on her face in real life, and this is just something crazy, man. This is insane. Look at the little hair tie on the hair, like the little bow thingy tying her hair up, bro. Like, it's crazy. Let's go to the body real quick. And as you can see, her accessories are not just generic. They are really, like, real Kyrie's. Like, it's crazy. It's not 2K shoes. It's Kyrie's, fam. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go to the next player. Let's go check the next chick out. The next player we're gonna look at was updated in this patch, patch 1.12 for the WNBA, was Liz Cambage. Now you know she went to the Sparks, but for some magical reason, 2K hadn't updated the actual WNBA roster set yet. So I went in and just did some edits and updated it myself. But if you look at the face, the face looks good. And the Mamba, that's the Kobe logo. That's the Kobe sign, bruh. Don't get me started, bruh. Oh boy, that's the Kobe sign. Bruh. That's the Kobe, bruh, the Kobe sign. Kobe. Bruh. Yeah, but she has it actually on her neck, and that is pretty dope. As you can see, the tattoos were updated. The face, again, the face just looks so much more detailed than the men uh, versions of NBA 2K22 on current gen. I don't know what it is. Like I say, the scans may be later. And if you look at the actual likeness update, attention to detail, I did update her. Like, I did fix it. So this is exactly what she's rocking. If you look at the tats within her arms, you see them. Uh, behind here, you see them. You see them on her shoulder. And she was uh, fully updated and transferred from next gen. But like I said, it's something about these females and how they look better uh, for some reason as far as quality than the actual men's scan. So let's go to the next player. Now we have Jordan Canada. I didn't update Jordan Canada to the actual uh, LA Sparks. Um, I didn't have a chance to do it. I was just so busy typing up stuff, but this is her right here. And the scan looks really good. It looks just like her. I kind of like it with the Sparks because the Sparks is my team. I'm a Lakers fan, right? But I do rock with the Sparks too because it's like, you know, it's hand in hand with the Lakers. So, you know, I got to do my thing with that. But yeah, Jordan Canada looks great. The braids are very, 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 very realistic. Um, I don't know if it's a hair update on her. I have to look and see. But the face, as far as the quality of the face, the face looks amazing, as you can see. It's just great, bro. Like, 2K be killing it when it comes to these scans with these women, bro. I don't know. But let's go to body real quick. And if you look at body, you see her. She looks dope. Yeah. She got that little frame with the big head. And she cute, too. You know what I'm saying? And she 5'6". She's short, too, bro. Like, anyway. And anyway, let's just get back to the video. <laughs> 
we're going to Siggy's to see if the dynamic hair update was applied to Jordan Canada. And if we go up, it moves just like kind of like the Derrick Rose hair update. Literally looks great. Uh, yeah, the tie is perfect too behind her head. Yeah, this is good. So she's updated with a face scan uh, likeness and she has a dynamic hair update. So let's go to the next WNBA player. Let's get it. All right, guys, this is Charlie Collier for the Dallas Wings. I kind of wanted to talk about this face this isn't a face scan. So sometimes situations happen where they get the placeholders ready to put the real scans into the game. So this is literally a placeholder because she does not look anything like this in real life. This is just like a new, like I guess, generated, 2K generated player to get ready to put the actual real face in the game. So if there's any females out there or any WNBA fans, if you are looking for Charlie Collier, she's your favorite player, she's probably being set up to be put in the game like as far as like a placeholder to get her in like a few days after. It may be another patch, but hey, we're there and she's here. And this, this was on the patch notes, but I just kind of wanted to cover it real quick because I know you guys like want to know, hey, that's, that's not the face. So that's not realistic. So hey, I, I needed to do that. So let's go ahead and just get to the next player. Now we have Sophie Cunningham and Sophie Cunningham has a real deal face scan likeness update in the game. As you can see, she has like the band to hold her hair back in the game as well. And this band, as far as like the art of it, it looks pretty good. Like the band looks amazing. Uh, it's not clipping. It doesn't look crazy. And 2K did a great job when it came to uh, when it came to this actual scan and the actual accessories on the head. Sometimes stuff clips. Sometimes stuff doesn't clip. But this is really good. The face, the face is really well. Like the face is really detailed, and they did a phenomenal job on this, bro. Like the eyes and everything, bro. Like the pores. Let's go to the body, and as you can see, she's a little thick. She has muscular legs, but yeah, she looks great. She looks great, yeah. She looks great. Uh, let's go to the next player though. We have Alicia Gray for the Dallas Wings. Now, one thing about Alicia Gray, you gotta understand that she used to, she wears goggles, right? This face is flawless. The face is amazing. The freckles, the pores, the hairstyle, the lips, like everything. I feel like the scan rig is getting better and better every time they sit somebody in it, especially for these females. Um, but the, everything is on point. I don't see nothing wrong with her. I do know that she wears the goggles in real life, so, if 2K hear me, hey man, where the goggles at? <laughs> Cause I know uh, Diamond De Shields or something like that, she wears them too as well. And she used to have them, but in one patch they were removed. So maybe it was a bug or a glitch or something wrong with it. And they took it off. But yeah, Alicia Gray, let's go to the body real quick. Yeah, she looks amazing. She looks good. She cute too. Uh, yeah, yeah, her hair is right. Yeah, this is, this is something right here, fam. Like, this is good stuff. All right, let's go to the next pair. Now we got Chelsea Gray. Chelsea Gray looks just like herself, looks realistic. The face scan, man, like nothing's wrong with the scan, but you do see the clipping with the actual hair tie or the WNBA head tie. It's just some like clipping with the braid. So I think basically um, with this situation, they may just have to just kind of tweak it in the next version of 2K or tweak it in between development to get it right. Because sometimes they probably have to use a new head to actually get it like right as far as the headband around the actual head without the whole tweaking thing or the clipping crap but yeah I, I can only imagine that like that's probably what the problem is but it looks good it just has the um the clipping situation that kind of makes it look crazy now in game sometimes it doesn't do that like when you're actually playing the game it doesn't do that so yeah but this looks good let's go to body real quick and this is her i remember when she played for the sparks yeah this looks just like her it looks just like the next gen version let's go to the next player though let's get it Rashonda Gray was updated in the patch notes. I put a question mark in my patch notes in the description. Some because the fact of the matter is this is a placeholder. This isn't the real Rashonda Gray face. This is just a placeholder where they, when they drop the scan in, it should just happen and it should just replace this. This ain't Rashonda Gray. She don't look nothing like this. To me, this looks like a 2K like uh, a 2K model, but it doesn't look like her. So. I wanted to just talk about that because she's in the patch note, so I didn't want to just go and just skip over. I was going to skip over though, no cap. I was going to skip. But anyway, let's go to the next player. Okay, so this is a very controversial scan. Um, Brittany Griner was actually updated from the next gen version to the old school, current gen, last gen, or whatever you want to call it, version. She was updated in the game and free Brittany Griner, bro. Like, check it out. But look at the, the face scan, bro. Like, the face scan is like there. No, this is good. This is good stuff. Tattoos, pores, forehead, everything look right. Hair on point, hair tie on point, fam. Let's go down the body. She tatted, suited, and booted, man. I'm telling you right now, this is like insane, bro. Like, 
This looks just like Britney Griner. Looks good for like the current gen version. And the detail is just like two, second to none. Now, it looks like she has 2K LeBrons on her feet, fam. Bruh. Hold on, bruh. 2K LeBron. I didn't know they made 2K LeBrons, okay? You know me, Mr. Attention to Detail. I find everything. LeBron 17s. And I got a 2K logo on the shoe. Let me know if y'all seen those before. I don't remember any 2K logos with LeBron James logo. Well, I don't remember any LeBron James sneakers with 2K logos on the shoe. So, yeah, that's that's a little little puzzling to me. That's a little different. Uh, but this Britney Griner, like back to the subject, this Britney Griner looks really good. Yeah, it looks dope. Free BG, free BG, for real. All right, let's go to the next player. Now we have Megan Gustafson, and she was updated in patch 1.12 and she looks real. I don't see any clipping uh, as far as her WNBA hair tie. I see zero clipping, bro. So I guess with some of these models for the current gen version, the team down in Texas may have to just try to, you know, maneuver and finagle to try to figure it out and fix it. But her face looks great. Um, it does have the poor, it's like the face quality of the WNBA players just really hits different. And I ain't talking about WWE 2K22 hitting different. I'm talking Bruh. about NBA 2K22 current gen hitting different. This hits different, man. Like, something about this face is just standing out versus the dude stuff. Let's go to the body. Um, yeah, look at the hair. What if she, does she have a hair update? Let's find out. Let's find out if she has a dynamic hair update. Yes, she does. <laughs> yes, she does. Look at that hair move. Oh, boy. Let's go to the next player. This face was on Passion Notes, and her name is Bria Hartley, right? But this ain't Bria Hartley. Like, this is just like a placeholder. So hopefully we get a Bria Hartley scan and update in the game as soon, uh, as soon as possible when we get a roster update or a server update for 2K. She's not in the game, WNBA fans, if you're a fan of her. This is not her face, just a placeholder. Just a 2K version. We should get it soon, though. Let's go to the next player. We have a really, really good scan from patch 1.12, and this is Tiana Hawkins, bruh. And if you look at the hair alone, the hair stands out and it looks pretty fire, bruh. And on top of that, look at the face scan. The face scan, look at the features of the face scan, bro. Like, it's crazy. If you look at the side, you see the moles by her eye. Her beauty marks is what they would, the women would call it, the beauty marks. Uh, yeah, look at the neck. This is great right here. Look at the tattoo, too, as well on her shoulder. And I don't see any more if we go to body. Uh, this accessory stuff, her accessories look amazing, bro. Like, it's, it looks dope. Um, yeah, this is good. This is really good. Does she have a dynamic hair update? Does this hair move? Let's find out. Yes, it does move. It moves. Oh, wow. It's, it's looking like uh, when it's blowing in the wind, like when you got a fan on it or something like that. It looks great, bro. So Tiana Hawkins updated. Let's go to the next player. Tiffany. Hayes, updated in patch 1.12 for the current gen version of 2K. As you can see, I noticed something too. Her, like, her head is like low. Like most, the player's like a little up, like where it says vitals, her head is a little low. So maybe that could be fixed too as well. Look at the neck. I feel like right here in the back of her neck where the heart is, that it's probably, it needs to be covered. I feel like it needs to be tweaked a little bit, fixed so the textures can match, but you know me, so attention to detail, so nitpick when it comes to this stuff. But the face looks phenomenal. Uh, yeah, the scar and just, just the quality of the WNBA scan. Like I said, the quality is just up there. It looks just like her. It looks just like her with no makeup. Yep, this is it. This is her. Let's go to body. I don't see, I do see tattoos within the arm. I see tattoos within the arm. Uh, yeah, it looks great. Let's go to the next player. Maisha Hines Allen was updated patch 1.12 for the current gen consoles for WNBA players out there. This face is good. This is good stuff. Just looking at it right now, it's it's like flawless, bro. Like it's, it's flawless, flawless. <laughs> it's flawless, man. Dang, I know that Christina DM fam works for the WWE 2K team as far as like the lead art director, right? I wanna know who the lead art director is for 2K, for the NBA, on the WNBA side, because this is, this is phenomenal freaking work. Like this looks great. Tattoos good. She tatted up, bruh. Dang, she tatted up more than a dude. Look at the music. It looks like 713. Um, yeah, this is really good on her leg too. Yeah, this is this is fire. This is this is fire, bro. Like this is it. Does our hair move? <laughs> Does our hair move? Let's go and see. Let's find out. Uh, boom. 
Yes, it. Her hair moves. She has the hair update. Let's go to the next player. Now we have Natasha Howard. She was updated in the last patch 1.12 for current gen, last gen consoles for 2K. Check it out though. Check it out. Let's see, she's another player that's kind of low. She's supposed to be a little higher, but she's like low. And hopefully 2K can catch that. 2K, if you're watching this, uh, yeah, it's a little low. And maybe you see it when you're actually looking over after the fact that you actually submitted this patch to Microsoft and PlayStation, et cetera, that this is a little low, but this face is looking great. The face looks real, um, the tats, everything is, yeah, everything is copacetic. Everything is right, bro, like, this is crazy. Let's go to the body. She's super tatted up. She like super, she's super suited and booted with tats, fam. Like, this is, she might be Kevin Durant. She got Kevin Durant like Bill, the Kevin Durant Bill, but yeah, this looks just like her. This is good. I ain't looking at the hair on this one, but let's go to the next one. Here is the Mariah Jefferson placeholder for Wings fans out there. It's not her. Uh, it kind of got like some similarities to her, but I know it's really not her. It's kind of like those faces the 2K generated, the digital generated faces that 2K make for the men. But it ain't as good as the men. Like it's not as like detailed as the men, but it looks pretty good as far as from a standpoint of just having somebody there to play with. But I'm pretty sure a scan will hit. If they don't hit 22, it will hit 23. Let's go to the next player. This is Jasmine Jones for the Liberty, and it's a placeholder. And the Liberty is like kind of popular. The Liberty is a team that pops. It's a popping team in the WNBA. It's kind of like very cultural, right? With UNESCO and DD Richards, but this isn't who it's supposed to be right now, which is supposed to be uh, Jasmine Jones. I had to look at it, I'm sorry. But yeah, this is uh, just a placeholder. I'm pretty sure her real face will pop into the game soon over an update. If not, 22, 23. Let's go to the next player. John Quayle Jones was updated in patch 1.12, and this looks exactly to a T like John Quayle Jones. Now let's look at the headband and see if it clips. The tie headband does not clip. It looks amazing. The face looks great. It looks just like her, all the way from each blemish to each pockmark to each mole. This is crazy. Mole on the chin, on the neck, and it looks wonderful, bro. Let's go to the body. This is the Kevin Durant of the WNBA, says Kevin Durant. KD said that this is literally, this is literally who he would be, or this is him in the WNBA, which is crazy, so. Yeah, I didn't know she could shoot like that either. She got, she has the Kevin Durant build too. Like, this is very KD number 35 and all that. Yeah, this is this is Kevin Durant-esque. Her hair does move, so dynamic hair update was applied to her as well via patch 1.12. Let's go to the next player fam. Let's get Benija Laney. This girl right here is a hooper. Last season WNBA, she was going crazy. I was watching a lot of her highlights and she was out there doing her thing. And this face looks like her. Uh, yeah, I'll go from the side, side view, of course, it looks like her. Yeah, look at the face, the lips. Yeah, <laughs> they've got our ears down to a T, fam. Let's go ahead and go to the body, check that out. I do see a tattoo above her elbow on the right side from where we looking at it from the screen. Uh, yeah, this looks great, this looks good. Uh, let's go to the next player, she's right. We have Jewel Lloyd, somebody who practices the Mamba mentality. This is one of Kobe's people, rest in peace Kobe. Kobe! Rest in peace Gigi. We have Jewel Lloyd right here and check out her face. Now her head does clamp through the actual headband and she does have the braids. This is it, they're actually going through the back of it. But as far as the scan, she looks really good. She looks pretty freaking good, looks realistic. Go to the body, tatted up on the arm, on the right arm, which is the left you know, in real life, but the right from what we see. Uh, I don't know if this hair moves, I think it's stuck braids. Uh, as far as the tats on the legs, they look they look pretty realistic. So yeah, this is realistic stuff. She was rocking Kobe's too as well. Uh, I just wanna be, I wanna be nosy real quick and see if that hair moves. Um, it does. It's so dynamic hair update was applied to these braids. Uh, that's what's up, bro. That's what's up. Let's go to the next player though. We have Marina. Mabry, and she looks exactly like herself. You can't get no realer than this, bro. Like I said, it is literally something about the WNBA scan rig. I don't know if they're using the same scan rig they use for the NBA players, but this is pretty fire right here, fam. Like, this is crazy. Let's go to the body real quick. Look at the body, see what the body has to offer. Uh, yeah, this is real stuff. This looks, this, this looks good. Bruh. This looks good. This looks real good, man. Bruh. So. Let's go to the next player. Let's not spend too much time here. Now we have Angel McCautry, and this is just her. I mean, so much detail within this scan. 
alone within the face i mean this is crazy the lips the eyes the nose everything we got tattoos yeah they did an amazing job bro let's go down to look at the let's look here oh yeah they got her accessories on point too as well and they got the inner arm tattoo the shoulder tat the wrist tat everything popping bro like everything is on cue with this situation oh yeah we can go to the next player we don't need to look at her she look all right <laughs> she look she looks pretty dope leilani little bit mitchell is in the building right now folks and look how realistic this girl looks this is it it doesn't get no realer than this it don't even man this is so crazy because it's like not even yeah it's not even like <laughs> It's like right, like it's right. I can't even find nothing to even nitpick about. You know, I'd be trying to find something and be like, okay, that needs to be moved over. None of that. 2K actually killed that. Like this looks great. Moles, look at this stuff. This beauty marks is what you want to call them. Call them moles. Beauty marks on her face. Oh yeah, freckles, is that what you want to call them? This looks great. Let's go to body real quick and see if she got any tats. I don't see any tats on Leilani, but this looks like her. This is the way she looks when she's playing on the court. Let's go to the next player. Miss Kia Nurse is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go with the Kia Nurse update. Looks like her has the actual realistic features of Kia Nurse, especially with the shapes of faces and stuff like that. Like that's really gotta be on point. And this one looks good. Let's go to body real fast. Let's go ahead and spin her in circles. Oh yeah, she, yeah, this, this realistic right here, man. 2K did that. Give 2K a hand for that. Anyway, let's go to the next player. We have a Liana Odom sighting. But the thing with this is this is a placeholder. This is on the patch notes, but it's just not updated. Like it's just a placeholder. So we've been here before, we've talked about this. Let's go to the next player. We have Arike Agua Wawa. Hold up. Arike Ogunbuale was updated, and this face looks just like her. I'm talking about every single portion of this skin looks just like her all the way. And look at the head tie. There is no clipping in it. Go from the side, tattoo behind the ear on the shoulder, on the other shoulder. And this looks real. Let's go to the body real quick. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. This is good. Let's go to the next player. This is a face that I've been waiting on to be updated for about two years right now. Shanae Agumake, aka Miss ESPN out there with Malika Andrews. She got updated. This looks just like Shanae Agumake. She is a very, very attractive woman. She is a very good basketball player and a very good analyst. And she is updated in NBA 2K22 current gen. Patch 1.12 brought us this fam. The dev team, the art team fam. Yeah, this looks great. This looks just like her. They did an amazing job. This is a port from next gen too as well. Let's go to body. That long body. Bruh. Mm, I butt ain't that flat though. Bruh. No cap. Like she running around here with, with um, <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> but uh yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go back to uh Shanae and Gwen McKay. And I don't know if her hair moves. Let's go to signatures and find out. It does move, it dynamic hair update for Shanae and Gwen McKay. So they went all the way out and hooked up Shanae and Gwen McKay. Yes, sir. Let's get out of that. Oh yeah, that hair moving. Swing that ponytail. Bruh. Okay, now let me get up. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next player. Aneka and Gumake, another Gumake sister. Now, this face was not on the patch notes, but I wanted to go ahead and touch it due to it being touched up, how good it looks. It looks great. Um, yeah, the, the Gumake sisters, you just gotta like show them props. You gotta give them like love. You gotta give them props, right? You can't just go to Shanae and not say Aneka, like, or Anika, or whatever you wanna say, whatever her name is. But yeah, I like them, bro. Like, they play for my team too. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm an LA fan, right? But she looks great. Let's go to the body. Yep, this is it. This is her. Mine is updated with the right shoes and stuff like that because it's kind of behind. But I think when 2K dropped the roster update, they probably will update everything and it needs to be uh, up to speed. Just like it needs to be in real life, fam. I know they're going to do it though. But this looks good. Let's go to the next one. We have another update inbound from patch 1.12. Jaisu Park was updated. As you can see, her hair is clipping all the way through the tie. And yeah, her face is good though. Her face is great. Looks just like her. Uh, yeah, she's really different. What's this on her back of her neck? Okay, she has tats. Tats on the back of her neck. Oh yeah, this is good stuff. This is very, very, very feasible. I can rock with this. I'm gonna play some WNBA too. I'm gonna actually get on that mug. You know, I gotta rep this. You know, I gotta, I gotta support the ladies. Cole, you know, I'm a Cole advocate. GG advocate. I gotta play WNBA, bro. Like, yeah. So this looks good though. This looks good. Let's go to the next one. The next player we're gonna cover is Teresa Plasiance. And this looks like a scan. 
it doesn't look as good as some of the previous games I went through already to uh, compare, but this doesn't look bad and it is her. It does look like her versus some of the placeholder scans. So I'm just gonna say that's it. So if you're a fan of her, here she is. Let's go to the next player. Kelsey Plum was updated as you can see. As you can see this face and that baby hair on her head fam, it looks just like her. Yeah, she's a hooper. She could literally hoop, she can move around, she can do her thing. And I rock with Kelsey Plum too. I'm a huge fan of her you know, for the aces doing her thing. But yeah, check it out. It looks like her. Not a bad looking scan at all. It looks, This looks good to the point where, yeah, I might want to, I wish you could just like do the one-on-one -on -one stuff with the females. Like, you know how you can go to Black Top and you can pick the dudes. I wish you could pick the chicks and like even mix it. Like the dudes versus the chicks. Like, like uh, NBA Live kind of did it a little bit, you know, with the dudes versus chicks. Like you couldn't do it though, like outside the game, but you could do it like in the streets or, on the like street part, you know what I'm saying? But this would be great if you can go to Blacktop and use females versus males, intergender, like hooping, you know what I'm saying? That'd be dope, 2K, can we get that? Kelsey Plum, let's go to the next person. We got the placeholder of Epiphany Prince. I don't know if Epiphany Prince wants to be scanned in video games because I've never seen Epiphany Prince in a video game ever as far as like NBA Live. When they first got WNBA, Epiphany Prince was not in the game. Uh, as far as 2K. I've always seen a placeholder, but I've never seen a real scan of Epiphany Prince. So hopefully they can get a scan of her and can like break history and get her in the game. But she's not in the game. It's just a placeholder. So hopefully we can see her soon too as well, just to fill out the roster. Let's go to the next player. This is a very controversial one that Dee Dee Richards just was on the Sports Illustrated cover. And she is very pretty and very different and very cultural. And this is this is the Dee Dee Richards that we got in the game right now. I think this Dee Dee Richards is just a placeholder for now to give us something until they get the real one in. Because if she sees it on Twitter or anything, she's gonna say something. That ain't me. Or if she's already scanned and when they drop her, she's gonna say something. She's gonna say, that's me. So this is not Dee Dee Richards. It's literally a placeholder. And I, I, I rock with it. Like I rock with it to have it. Her hair is that color, but she's got curly hair, big eyes. Like we don't even get on Dee Dee Richards right now, bro. Let's go to the next player. <laughs> the Mercedes Russell's sighting fam look at her right here look at this face realism tatted braids on point these braids are five bro jeez look at them braids man i know they move too because i'm just guessing they do but let's go to the body look at the tattoos look at mercedes russell mercedes now i ain't talking about sasha banks i'm talking about mercedes russell bro check out the tattoo sleeve she got the she got heath ledger on her arm that's crazy that's crazy bro Oh my gosh, she looks great. This is a great scan, great quality. 2K, they, they got something in their bag, bro. They can literally make stuff look real good. They you this uh, this is this ain't new gen, this older gen, bro. Like this last gen. For it to look like this. Even her makeup on point, bro. Anyway, let's get out of here, dog. Let's go to the next player. We got Odyssey Sims looking real as ever in NBA 2K22. Uh last gen via patch 1.12. Look at the head tie. Head tie on point. No clipping, perfection. Wow. Face on point. Look at this. I don't know what they did with her skin. I don't know if she was in the room. <laughs> I don't know if they had a thousand cameras on her face with 50 lights. This is dope. Her hair, perfect. Perfect. Let's go to the body. Of course, she got some tats. I think they all tatted up in some form or fashion, somewhere on their bodies. But this looks good. Um, hopefully we can start getting some like accessory updates for last gen if they do so. Like with the shorts pulled up a little higher or like the, the shoulders twisted on the jerseys. Stuff like that, bro. Like add more accessories and do stuff like that. To give it a little bit more authenticity. Anyway, let's go to the next player. D, Brianna Stewart. She was actually on the cover of Sports Illustrated as well too. Looked pretty good. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it and look at the scan. This scan looks realistic. This is her straight up. Brianna Stewart, yep, the Hooper, pores, pox, marks, everything on this bad boy. Let's go to body, long frame. She's just long, bro. It's just a female Hooper, dog. That's crazy, but check her out. Face looks real, especially like from this angle when you actually go with the whole body. You can see her face and all the detail in her face. So shout out to 2K for that. Yeah, do y'all thing, man. Let's go to the next place. Shakina Strickland, realistic looking scan from patch 1.12. This is uh, this is pretty dope. This is pretty nice right here, fam. She even looks so realistic that she look at you when you look at it, when she's looking at the pupils, when you look at the pupils of her. Yeah, she looking like she look right at you. You know what I'm saying? She looking right at me, fam. But look at this. This looks good. The hair, 
good. The textures are good for the skin. She does have a tat, right foot breathe, left foot. Yeah, on her arm. As you can see, her shoes and socks and stuff are pretty dope. I like the way her accessories are set up. Does that hair move though? As like stiff as it look right now, we can find out if it moves. I kind of want to just be, okay. It does look like it moves. Let's go here down. Oh yeah, her hair is moving fam. Oh yeah, her hair is moving. Uh, let's go to the next one. Stephanie Talbot is in the game. Her face was updated. I'm telling you, we're going through it, looking at every single thing. We covering it in a way no one covers it on the internet. Check out Stephanie Talbot though. Look at her face. The texture and the layers and everything is just right with her. Let's go to the body real quick. Long build. Long, slink, slender Kevin Durant build. Uh, yeah, this is her. Let's go ahead and go to the next player. Diana Taurasi, real realistic looking scan. Yeah, her and Skylar were having some words last night, which was pretty crazy. But anyway, let's look at the face right here. Check it out, fam. Look at the wrinkles in her head. All of the freckles on her face looks just like her. Oh yeah, this is crazy. Look at the body. The body is the same. Doesn't look like they took the body, but I didn't think nothing was wrong with the body, but the face like is good. Especially, if, like I say, if you can have this angle and can see the detail, we're good. Let's go to the next one. Kayla Thornton, updated. Face look realistic, everything on point. Oh yeah, from the side view. Yeah, it's good, it's good. You can even see that where her ears are pierced, you can even see like the two holes in her ear. That's crazy, let's go to the body. And the head fits the body properly, folks. It does, it does. Dope stuff. Let's go to the next player. We got a Brianna Turner update via patch 1.12. Look at her. She has, her headband is like mad thick. I think they have two of them because they don't want it to clip. So sometimes that's the workaround from what I'm guessing. That's just my like logical guess, my educated guess. But this face looks good. The freckles are on point. The hair is mad curly, just like it's supposed to be in real life. Let's go down to the body, spin that joint around. Oh yeah, this is her. Looks good, don't look bad. This looks, like I said, majority of these scans are on point. It's really minimal clipping when it comes to headbands with these WNBA players, and it's just set up really good. The 2K team did kill it with this, so let's go to the next player. We have Sammy Whitcomb in the building, fam. Patch 1.12 update, so much detail in her face, bro. Like, you can't even not deny, like, this is it. Not now, no, the, look at the back, the Believe tattoo on her back, on the back of her neck, right? Above her, right? Whatever, anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and look at her. She does look like her freaking self. Let's go to body, spin that joint around. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, let's go to the next one. <laughs> let's talk about this Courtney Williams update. Let's talk about how realistic this face looks the shape of this face, the texture, and the tattoos. Now her tattoos were literally updated in this patch too as well. So basically with the next gen version from the patches then, they would drop things in the game and then add to it. But with this last patch 1.12 for current gen, it just drops, it just drops everything at once. Now if you look at the body fam, check out the tattoos. She is really tatted. <laughs> she really tatted up. She tatted it better than a lot of dudes, bruh. Check that out, bro. Like, that is crazy. The detail in this actual player model is phenomenal, bro. Like, I need to go hoop with these. Like, I know I do a lot of these videos, but I literally need to be hooping with, like, these players and enjoying the authenticity. Let's go to the next one. We got Elizabeth Williams that was updated via patch 1.12, current gen, last gen. Perfect headband tie. No clip, well, minimal, really minimal clipping, but not bad. This is really good. This is almost perfect, bro. The face, I you know what I'm gonna say. I ain't gotta see it, fam. You know what I you know how I feel about it. Let's go to the body real quick. Body on point. This is really good. This is a really good one, bro. Like, this is really, really impressive. Like, this is great stuff. I know I heard move. I ain't gonna even be no dime in. Yep. We ain't gotta look. Let's go to the next player. Now we have a brand new updated Requana Williams. Uh yeah, tats. Her hair tied up too, like a special way, and it comes out the back. So yeah, that's good. It's faded up too, and you see all the marks on her face. Yeah, yeah, birthmarks and scars and everything. Go to the body, the tattoos are like great. Yeah, this WNBA updates, man. You were like, y'all can't be sleeping on these WNBA updates, because the thing is like, a lot of people don't like the WNBA and they talk about it, but when you come to this part of the game with 2K, like they really be 
they be clowning, bro. Like some people be mad too. Like, why they update uh, Ant Man, bro? I don't know, fam. I, the next Ant Man gonna be fire though. But anyway, let's go to the next player. Asia Will Sun. Clipping headband, but the face scan is on point. Don't get no realer than this. The moles even stick out. They like 3D, fam. Yeah, look at that. Look at the color of the tattoo behind the ear. Oh man, let's go to the body real quick. Got the tattoo within the arm. Look on the back of the calf muscle. She got the tattoo as well. Oh yeah, this is really good. Let's go to the next player though. Little Miss Jackie Young with updated patch 1.12. And as you can see, we are actually coming towards the end of it. Look at the face, looks good. I, I can't be mad at none of this though, man. This is really good stuff. Let's go to the body real quick. She bought as chocolate as a chocolate bar. Looking like a piece of candy, fam. Look at this girl, bro. This looks crazy. The hair is shiny too. Like this is phenomenal. A tattoo within the right arm too, right, right on the wrist. Looking good. Shout out to 2K for that, fam. Let's uh let's head to the next player. And the last and final updated player from patch 1.12 in NBA 2K22 current gen, last gen is Javante Zealous. As you can see, this face is really good and really detailed. And it has a lot of tattoos, a lot of scars, a lot of pock marks, a lot of even the face she gotta have faded up under up under like the baby hair like wow but the clipping with the headband is probably the issue um as you can see the hair ties on point but it looks great at, i mean at the end of the day they can always go in and really seriously tweak this stuff and fix it let's go to the body and she's tatted up with the d rolls on her feet you know what i'm saying she got the d rolls on and this looks really good uh shout out to 2k for this man like 36 37 players updated in these updates and for each like league like the nba and the WNBA, like that's a lot it's like a little bit over 70 almost 80 it's a lot of players it's not even count let's not do that but anyway, yeah, this is good stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more. I will be coming back with a lot more content. We're trying to get it rolling out. I'm filming more in a day. I'm filming more videos in the day, so more videos will come out. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Join the current gen, next gen, retro gen, and switch gen Gs. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when the videos literally drop. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Tickles Decor to keep up with the latest and greatest updates. I do live updates, like real-time live updates. I talk to you guys if you want to just kind of chat a little bit about the updates and what's coming or what your predictions may be. And also, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps us a lot in the YouTube algorithm to grow the channel. I promise I'm going to be way more consistent. Just hit the like button, bro, so we can grow the channel. Been working hard. Anyway, I'm out of here. Peace.